Well, this is a sight for sore eyes. I had a lot of wine last night, probably enough to carry over for today. So I can guarantee you this thing is still in my system. So with that being said, let's start Wine Wednesday. This week on The Non Blondes, we wanted to have kind of a really relaxed, just chill, effortless week. So we came up with the idea of doing some kind of like favorites, top five, top infinity, top thing. So we've got five categories, and that's movies, music, YouTubers, food, and miscellaneous. So for movies, one of my all-time favorites is The Labyrinth, and not Pan's Labyrinth, or any other kind of fucking labyrinth. It's just Labyrinth. The one that David Bowie is in, looking super hella hot in those tight ass pants. Nowhere Boy featuring Aaron Taylor Johnson who is super fine. I'm also a huge James Dean fan so Rebel Without a Cause is definitely number one out of my list of his films. Well his very short film career. Poor dude croaked at a pretty young age. Alice in Wonderland is by far my favorite Disney movie. I don't even know if it's Disney. It's just like the bomb, the shit, the it. It's, it's the it. And on that note, any kind of Disney or classic animated film that was before 2000s hit are definitely in my bucket of favorite films. The only things I ever show my kids, if and when I had kids. That's a scary thought, having kids. Anything after the 90s, seriously, was just a bust in my eyes. I think the Land Before Time films are a great example of that because the first six, fantastic, phenomenal. But then once they hit the 2000 mark, they all just like went to shit. Burlesque, holy shit, that film has the best soundtrack. Twilight, holy shit, that film has the best soundtrack. God, it's so freaking good. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you don't like the movie. That soundtrack is amazing. Every single one. It's great. It's great. It's great. With actual music that I listen to, I'm pretty split 50-50 into like these punk e type, screamo, metal-y thing. I also like alternative rock. British stuff. I'm all over the place. So I'm just gonna tell you guys, I have Spotify, so you should just peep that. I've got some really cute playlists. Rap Battle Wizards 2 K14, I don't know. My dudes, motherfucker, yes. Hi, I'm naked and showering, my main bitch. Wench cleaning time. Hot James with my bitch. You get the idea. If you're into that kind of like screamo, punk, metally, whatever stuff, I will tell you guys this. It hasn't really been announced officially, but I'm starting another channel where I will be doing music stuff in, I guess, the warp Tour type world. So if you're into like warp Tour uh, bands, then and you are interested in hearing interviews and seeing cool things with these kinds of artists and music and getting updated on shit like that, uh, I'm gonna be running a channel on that with Paper Alligator, so... I guess follow me everywhere so you can like stay, stay in touch with that because I think it's gonna be pretty sick if you ask me. So basically everything I just said was useless so I guess I could just throw out some random bands. Sleeping with Sirens, The Neighborhood, M83, A Skylit Drive, Under Oath, Rest in Peace Bros, 1975, Churches, Bring Me the Horizon, Breathe Carolina. It just, the list is crazy, it's weird, love me. So now let's move on to food because that's the most exciting part of this entire thing because food. Tofu, queso, gluten free shit, French toast crunch. I haven't had that since I was a very, very small child, but I heard from Grace that it actually came back. I was probably like gone again and I haven't even got it. I can't find it anywhere. So if any of you guys have French toast crunch or know what it is or love it too, I love you and you should send me some in the mail because I need it. It's probably not even gluten free, but I don't fucking care. I'm gonna, I, I, it's mine. Artichokes on pizza is bomb ass. Mmm, so good. Chocolate chip pancakes are a little bit doughy in the middle, like not super doughy, like where you were like, oh god, this is so doughy. Oh god, this is all the dough. It's just like you cut into it and it's like a little bit of dough and the chocolate is like melty with the dough and it's kind of like a, a chocolate goo in the pancake and it's warm. It's just <sighs> hash browns. I think if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know about my obsession with hash browns, especially with syrup, like dipping your hash browns into syrup, having scrambled eggs and putting syrup on them, pancakes with syrup. I just really love syrup. Sour Patch Kids, Sour Straws, Sour Gummy Bears, that doesn't exist, Erica what are you saying? Sour Worms, oh my god my mouth is like watering just like thinking about all the sour stuff. Does that ever happen to you like where you just start thinking about something sour and it's like YouTuber! 
members. We've got the Holy Trinity, me and Heart, Hannah Hart, and Grace Helbig. They are just the people I go to first to watch on YouTube. I really, really enjoy Jamie Cottrell's videos. You guys probably know him as Chip Daddy, but he is one of the first guys that I ever started watching on YouTube. And he's just like the realest homie that I know. And I just really enjoy his videos because he is super funny and really f***ing weird. And it's great. And lastly, if you guys couldn't already guess, I'm obsessed with Jenna Marbles as pretty much the entire nation is pure intelligent. My favorite kind of YouTubers are comedians or funny people. People that kind of do what they do for entertainment purposes. And that's exactly what I want my channel to be and what I try to produce because that's what I enjoy. So that's where my main channel is trying to go and it's a little, little shitty at the moment. So give me some time. It's gonna be more like these videos. I'm really, really proud of my non-blonde videos. And what the f am I saying? This is a completely like dumb tangent. And the non-blonde girls, that's a given. Babe Central. And finally, we have our miscellaneous category and that's just a bunch of random ass shit that we couldn't fit into any of the other four categories that we feel we're obsessed with and our favorite and that we love. I'm gonna go with wine, something you guys probably couldn't guess. My favorite thing right now is wine and that's kind of weird because I used to be like a vodka person where all I drank was vodka, but now like that I'm an adult, it's like I've just automatically turned into a responsible adult and now I drink wine all the fucking time. Possums are another thing that I am obsessed with. I love possums. I don't think you guys understand how freaking cute possums are. Twin Peaks has been something I've been really obsessed with. My boyfriend Ivan and I have started watching that and it is the best show I have seen in a really long time next to Prison Break, The Bachelor. Holy fucking shit. If you guys don't watch The Bachelor, you have a very sad life. And to those of you who do watch it, I would love to start some kind of bachelor thread down in the comments. Shout out to Charmin Toilet Paper because there's some really shitty shit out there. No pun intended. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure you also leave some suggestions in the comments below of videos that you want to see from us. We've got a list going and we'd like to be able to create a really, really big pool of things to just pick and choose from whenever we want. So with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed your Wine Wednesday. Drink responsibly. Drink juice responsibly. Drink your wine responsibly. I'll see you guys next week. Or on social media if you guys follow me at the Gothic Sprite. Shameless plug. Okay, bye!